Hey guys, in today's episode, we are going to be working on the power windows, guys. So the problem I'm having is this window does not roll up or down. It doesn't work at all. That's the problem here. It is an electrical problem. Uh, maybe the motor, we'll find out. And that window, which I will have a separate episode about, that window goes up and down, but it's like off its tracks and it does this weird clicking thing. So in the description of this video, if you wanna watch the video about the track and the gears and all that, just go in the description, click on that video. And if you wanna watch the electrical video, well, you're on the right video. We're gonna start right away. Ignition on. All right, see, I'll show you guys quickly. So that will be the other video and this side it does absolutely nothing okay guys so if your power window is not working it could be one of basically three things like one something's going on in the fuse box the fuse is uh, blown or there's corrosion on the fuse so just the window's not getting power right the second thing is possibly your switch is broken right so that's easy to test as well and the third thing, most likely, which is the problem, would be something going on with the wires in here, like maybe one broke, right? So that way the, the motor's not getting electricity. And the fourth problem, even though I said there's only three, your actual motor could be broken. So what we gotta do, guys, is we gotta diagnose this step by step. Okay, guys, so the first thing you would do in this situation, uh, you would, there's a couple of screws here. Um, there's one back there. You unscrew those and you I mean you would pull this off, this part, and you're gonna check to see if there's power going to your switches. Like I've already done this in the episode where I had the interior out. So I actually tested this before and I know there's power going to the switches because I've done it. So basically there's three wires going to this switch and there's three wires going to this switch. So that's pretty simple to understand. There's one, thicker wire which goes in the middle of the three that's your positive so as soon as you turn your key on uh that will have a positive going to the switch so that's the wire you would test right so you would just take your voltmeter you would set it on uh dc direct current 20 volts like that see that's alternating and that's direct so you got basically two lines anyways so that's how that works right you would touch your positive to that thicker wire and then you would touch your black one to ground somewhere on the car like not it's a plastic car so like to the frame or maybe like inside of here if your uh, cigarette lighter works you would just touch it to the outside like that and then this should read 12 volts if it does then you know you're getting power to the switch right so that's how you would test that. Then the next thing you would do is you would try to bypass the switch to see if the switch is broken. So then in order to do that, you would just need a wire, like just a wire that loops around and you would touch one end to that middle thickest positive that's got the positive in it, right? So you would touch that. And then with this one, you would touch it to one of the wires on the side of it. So like if you touch it to one, the window will go down. If you touch it to the other one, the window will go up. So if your window starts to work when you do that, you need a new switch. And if it doesn't, then it's not the switch. It's something going on in here. So in our case, I tested both these switches. They both work and they're both getting power. So we're moving on from that. Let's say you had no power going to this. Then you would go into your fuse box, figure out which fuse is for the windows pull it out, make sure it's good, clean all the corrosion out of the fuse box, put it back in. I also have an episode on the fuse box. There will be a description in this video to that video. Okay, let's get started by pulling this panel off. Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, there's a screw here, we're gonna unscrew that. There's a screw there, we're gonna unscrew that. You know, one there. Um, we're gonna start with that. This handle also has a screw there, I believe, and one there. So we're gonna take those two out. Okay, I'll do that right now and I'll show you what's next. Okay guys, I figured out two things. One, it doesn't look like we need to pull this off actually. 
Uh, I don't think it's attached to anything under there. And the second thing I noticed is this is broken. So you spin it, it doesn't lock or unlock the door. So we're gonna investigate that in this video as well. And I'm just still working on how to pull this off. So I'm gonna try that and I'll show you guys once I get it off. Okay guys, so I took this little screwdriver and there's like a clip thing in there and I kind of pushed it out as you can see. So all I gotta do now is get this screwdriver in there and pry that out. So I'm gonna do that and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay, see there we go. It flew out and that came off. Okay, let me show you. Okay guys, so see on the back, this was just in here like this and these grooves and we just pulled it out, right? And that's what keeps it in. And then there's also this part, which goes after it. Okay, so we got that out. Okay, so now with this out, I mean, it should just come right off. It's like Velcroed on with like Velcro. So we got the Velcro off. There we go, guys. Okay, guys, so there it is. So as you can see, this rod here uh, is supposed to go in there. And it's also very, very bent, see? So, We'll fix that. We're gonna take this out, heat it up, and it's also missing like this metal thing that holds it in place. So we'll either rig something up or I'll have to order that. We will see. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward, right? And then that moves this. It locks and unlocks the door. Okay, so now we're gonna remove this black spot here. A couple screws around because uh, we're trying to get to the whole power window assembly. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay guys, so I got that part off as you can see. Um, there's our motor for the power window. Uh, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. Okay, so there's two wires going into the motor, right? So the colors of these wires are, one is like blue and one is like brown with a white, white line, right? And then there's a third wire which, okay, this is a ground wire, um, which is a negative. So there's three wires, right? There's three wires going in through here to control the windows. You have a positive that makes it go up. So like when you click the switch, right? That'll make it go up. You have a positive when you click it, then that one gets a positive. That's why there's two coming back, right? Both, so you got the one middle thick one going into the switch and you got two coming out. So depending on where you put this, you will have a positive travel into there. So it'll be like, this one will get positive, the yellow one, for example. And if you lift it the other way, uh, whatever, right? Then the other one will get a positive. And this one always has a negative. So this one should not be disconnected, should be connected to the, to the metal door to give this motor a negative. Um, anyways, we're gonna check to see if it's getting power at these two wires. So what you gotta do is disconnect this. Pretty straightforward, right? And now you're gonna put your tester. So you're gonna put the red one of your tester onto one of these, and then the black one, you're gonna touch it to the ground of your car. So I mean, even though this is disconnected, this door will still most likely have a ground for just from the hinges, right? Because it's all metal. But we're gonna use the ground right here in our cigarette lighter, our cigarette lighter works. So I know that ground's good. If not, you could, I mean, you could touch it to the frame of your car, you know, somewhere where it's clean, no rust, or you could even touch it to the negative on your battery. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm gonna hook this up right now. Okay, so we got it all hooked up. See, we got it touching one of them. That goes into the voltmeter, and then the black one just goes, like, if the inside part of the, uh, like that's a positive down there, that little golden colored thing. But the outside is all negative, right? Like even the cigarette lighter. So now we're gonna hit the switch. And if we go up, let's see if that works. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Boom, 12 volts. So, so that part works of the switch and the wiring. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull um, that red one out, plug it into the other one so into the, the one next to it. So I'll do that right now. Okay, that's done. So now if we hit this in the opposite direction, that should get 12 volts. Ready? One, two, three. Boom. 12 volts again. Okay, so we know that our switch works. We know we're getting power to the switch. We know that the two wires that travel through the door are good. 
uh, right up to this motor. So chances are it's the motor. Uh, the only thing we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook up a set of booster cables to make a good ground since this ground's disconnected. And we're gonna hook it up just to there and then we'll hook up the other end uh, to the cigarette lighter again, just to give this door a good ground and see if the window works. Okay, so like I said, we got two positives going into it. The ground on one of these motors is the whole outside casing of it, like, cause it's metal. So we got a ground hooked up there, just a, just a booster cable, right? And then we just got it traveling to there. So that's got a good ground now, keys on. Let's see if she works, ready? Okay, so the ground's not the issue on this. It's gonna be the motor. It's getting power there. It's got a ground. Uh, obviously, we're gonna have to figure out if this ground, where it goes, somewhere on the door. And we're also gonna check it really quick. I'll show you how to do that right now. Okay, in order to test that ground, so same thing. We just got one hooked up there. And then this time, the black wire off of the voltmeter, right? Uh, we're just gonna hook that up instead of hooking up the ground on the car. We're just gonna hook it up to this ground, just like that. Okay, let's see if that works now. Um, when I press the button, this should go to 12 volts. If it does, then that means that that ground is good. So let's try it. Okay, we're gonna roll the window up. Okay, it's working, right? Now if you roll it down, it's not gonna get any power. You would have to switch um, this red wire here, right, to the other side. I hope I'm making sense to you guys here, but anyways, so all the wiring works. It's gotta be the motor. Okay, next guys, we're gonna pull this motor out. Okay guys, so I just did a little bit of research here. So, okay, I got this part off. There was a little screw here. Um, so the thing is, they're saying this window has to be up in order to like get to all this. Well guys, apparently the window is supposed to be up for this to come out and obviously we can't put our window up because it doesn't work. So I'm going to just start unscrewing things and we'll see where we get. We're going to unscrew those. Um, probably these two. I'll just do that and I'll see and I'll see how it goes. Okay, so I removed all those screws and this whole thing's starting to move, see? So uh, now I got to remove those two. Those seem to be holding something as well. So let me do that. So in order to get these off, so you're gonna need this type of screwdriver and you're gonna have to like hammer this thing on so it's on there tight. Plus the hammering motion kind of helps with making it come loose. These are hard to get off guys. Put a ratchet on it. Regular screwdriver, I don't know if I can do it. Okay, well that didn't work. I really don't want to strip these, so we're going to try some WD-40 in there. And then up from top too, we can actually get to them as well. Uh, I'll do that off camera and I'll try to bang that screwdriver in really, really good and getting these off. Okay guys, well I can't get these off. I don't want to break them just yet. If I have to, I will grind them off, but I discovered something. So since we removed all this, uh, look what happens now when I pull in the window. So see, I kind of moved this whole thing over a bit. And now, look at that. I got it a little bit up. Okay, I got it pretty good. So if I can get it to stay like that, um, Okay, well, I'll show you what's next, guys. There is a light at the end of the tunnel here. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, guys, so this is what I did. I just ended up sticking a can in there to hold the window up. See, I got it out about that much. I mean, if you could put your window up, this would have been easy because then you have enough room to reach in here and unscrew. There's three basically bolts. See, this is the backs of them. So there's one there, uh, one there, and there's one um, right there. And they're like at the back of it, right? So now I can reach in there with my hand using a 7 16 little uh, wrench like this. And I can unscrew those and I think the motor will come off. And once the motor's off, I believe I can move the window up and down freely. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay guys, it's kind of hard to see, but so you can get in here. And you can start unscrewing these now. 
not it's not bad you got pretty good access so i'm gonna do all three i can literally reach every single one now so i'll do that i'm oh yeah they're even coming off by hand now because i already loosened them okay so i'll do that that's what they look like okay let me get those off okay guys just want to warn you about something that happened to me here so i got two of the the bolts out right from the inside and like the main gear that kind of sits on this so it, it came off so the window's like loose now see i can lift it up and down but the problem is this whole entire mechanism that was attached here it like kind of sprung back um it didn't hurt my hand or anything but i guess it could have so Maybe when you're taking those four bolts off, have a glove on just in case. Another thing we could have done is maybe like, you know, we let this slide over a bit, but maybe we could have attached it with a wire or something. It just kind of sprung back like that. But anyway, so now I can get in here and I can get the last bolt off. And hopefully that motor just pops right out. And I mean, we're at the point now where we can kind of move this up and down. Um, okay, so I'm going to try pulling this out okay so i got the last this was like at the back see there's where the three bolts were um so that goes that way somehow ah this will all be in this video guys don't worry about that okay i believe if i uh hold the window up i believe i can pull this motor out now all right we got it out Okay guys, so now that we got the motor out, I think in order not to lose my fingers, I got gloves on. But what we're gonna try to do is put all this stuff back the way it was. See, it's spring-loaded, eh? So we need to lower this window. I got these gloves on. Let's see if this is even possible. Oh yeah, I think I can get it over there. Just gotta spin this all around. Okay. Very springy, but it seems to be going. So now that goes in there. This goes in here. Woo! Okay, we got it back the way it was with the motor off. Not bad. Okay, guys, so now what you would do, obviously, is you would buy a new motor like this. Um, I will put a link in the description to a good one. You can just click on the link and get one of these no problems but we're gonna attempt to fix this one guys so there was a little cover right here we unscrewed that uh there's one two three really long bolts i already took two out so we're gonna take this one out and we're gonna try to take this thing apart guys and see if we can repair it and i believe we have to loosen this as well okay i'm gonna do that right now Okay, so we kind of, we unscrewed this. Um, I don't know if that actually held anything in. That might just be to, to put grease in there or something. Anyways, so then you just unscrew this. Just like that. Yeah, see, there it goes. Okay, so this is what's broken most likely. The electrical part of it. This is like all the mechanical gears. These usually are fine. It's not like we heard the motor spinning and, um, you know, the window wasn't opening. That all seems to be working fine. Okay, let's take the motor apart. Actually, before we do, guys, just want to show you something. So, see, this just comes out like so. So, as you can see, it's greased up. Uh, all the gears are good. Nothing's... You would see these like cut off and then then you have to replace the whole motor because there's no way you can just buy the gear all oh, this seems fine so you could regrease it if it was dry but in our case there really is no point this is this is all good so this part of the motor is 100 percent good yeah it spins nice okay that's that guys let's move on Okay guys, so this actually is not complicated. A baby could fix this. Usually what ends up happening is it just gets corroded on these and that's why it stops working. So I will show you how to clean this whole thing. See, look, there's the ground. It goes into the body, just like I said. That's one brush. And then there's a positive one 
which goes into all this stuff. And I believe this is just when it gets hot. So like if you keep holding the window closed, then that would just open up. Um, okay, guys, so we're going to take all this out here. As you can see, there's these little metal things here. Should be able to get these out. There we go. Okay, so we'll leave the brushes in here like so. That one anyways. Um, can we get that over? Yes, we can. Okay, so now we pull this thing out. Okay, and there you go. There's our problem right here. Look how corroded these are right here. This needs to be perfectly clean. So let's clean that. Let's start with that. Okay, so first you're just gonna grab a rag and clean it with the rag. That's what we're gonna start with. And I mean, if you look closely at this, there's like a huge layer of gunk on it. See what I mean? Okay, let's get 320 grit sandpaper. Okay, so you grab some 320 grit sandpaper and sand these, see, like that. Not too crazy, just gotta get them clean. Okay guys, so that's what that should look like. Just sanded it nice and smooth. And then we're gonna get all the grease off of this area. And just right here. And I mean, this thing's fixed, guys. Okay, so this is ready. Now I'll show you what to do on that part. Okay, so in here, I mean, you wanna get all this corrosion out, first of all. So we'll get all this out. Okay, so once you got this thing pretty clean inside, you could blow some air in there or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. See, what we're gonna be working now is these little brushes. So see, at the bottom of these, they have the same kind of gunk on them that this thing had. So what you gotta do is, you get a little piece of sandpaper, 320 grit. Only this time though, like this is like chalk. It sands very, very fast. And there's like a curve to it, see? Uh, can you see that? Maybe you can't, but there is a curve, right? And the curve fits onto this curve, right? Like so. You get what I'm saying? So what you have to do is give this a light sand on each side, like very light, just to get the gunk off. See, just like that. Like this thing conducts electricity. That's what gives the motor its electricity, right there, this side. And that side. Okay, so that's it for that. And then you kind of do like a little, maybe fold this, do like a little curved kind of thing like this. And make sure you're doing it in the correct direction. See, you just kind of get it. Very little. See, and now when you look at this thing, see, it's nice and clean. And that's all you do. Nothing more than that. So you do that to this brush. And you do it to this brush as well. See, there's two brushes. So we're gonna pull this one out. I'm gonna do this one right now. I'll do this one off camera. Okay, so that's done. This one's done, they're both looking nice. Now we're gonna put it together. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so in order to put this together, the first thing we're gonna do is, so first of all, at the back of this thing, there's this little copper kind of thing that just sits there like this. So make sure you have that in there. See, it just sits at the back there inside. Um, so what you gotta do, and you can use Vaseline 
or you can use the electric grease. It's actually the same stuff, guys. So you just take a whole bunch, right? Put on your finger. You can go like this. This will make it like smooth operation kind of thing, right? So you take some. Sorry if this video is boring, but it is what it is. See, then you can put that on there so it kind of stays. See, that should be good. So now you go like that, and you can put that in there without killing yourself trying to get it in there. And the Vaseline won't do nothing to it. It'll just lubricate it good. Okay. She's in there. So that part's done. So now you have to put this over without breaking this wire, right? So you gotta kind of stretch that wire out. You wanna put that over. All right, we got it. So now we need to put these brushes in. See, these things, we can kind of bend them back because we kind of bent them. Everything, you got to be careful. If you break something, you know, then you're kind of screwed. Okay, so the brush is going first. I'm going to just clean my fingers. So that brush will go in here like so. See, I got one in, and now I got the other one in, well, almost. Okay, we got the bottom one in, right? So now we're just gonna grab a little wee screwdriver. Be very gentle with this stuff. Okay, you see what we did there, guys? So now we can uh, pop this all back into place. Just the way it was. Boom. This side. Okay, so now those brushes are on there nice and tight. Not like before. Move that wire like that so the cover doesn't get affected by it. Uh, make sure this one's not touching the body because that's the positive. So we'll go like this. There you go. I mean, this will work. Don't worry about that. Both brushes are touching good. Okay, one last thing. So this little point here, what we need to do is you want to grab a piece of sandpaper Okay, so now you're going to grab a piece of sandpaper. See, we just folded it in half. And what you want to do is you want to just kind of open this point up just a little bit with the little screwdriver. See what I mean? See how that opens? And you want to put this piece of sandpaper in between there, just like this. And then you kind of open it just a little bit, put it in and you want to pull it out, put it in, let it go, pull it out. And that will get rid of anything on there that might not be connecting. See what I mean? So just do that about 10 times. You can even go back and forth. See what I'm doing? Okay, I believe this is good. Okay, we're gonna put this back together and we're gonna go test it, guys. Okay, guys, so all you wanna do now is take a little bit more of this Vaseline here and just put some on there. That's all you really need. Okay, guys, so in order to put this together now, you just take this thing out. You could re-grease all this, but ours is already greased up, so we're not gonna go crazy here, all right? And then this just goes in there like so. Boom, we put these long bolts in, 
all three of them. One, two, three. Tighten these up. Okay, and then you just, see there's that gear. We just pop this back in. Boom, okay, let's go see if she works. Okay guys, let's see if she works. So we need our wire plugged in, obviously. That's done. And then we need our ground, which we're still gonna figure out where to hook up, but you just touch that anywhere to the body of the motor. That's not painted like so. All right, let's click, let's click the buttons and see if she, uh, let's click the buttons and see if she works. Ready? Okay, let's put it back on. There you go. That took about half an hour to fix. So now you know how to do that. Okay, guys, in order to put this on, we're going to need a little bit of bearing grease. So we just put some on our finger and you just put a little bit on here like so, right? Because this backing plate for it, you want that spins in there, right? So that's going to go on like so onto it, see? But it's not gonna go on to there. It actually, so like that motor is gonna go on to right there. See, there's one, two, and three holes. So it's gonna go in basically like right there. And then we're gonna put the screws in um, from, from the inside. We got room now because the window's up. And as you can see, it, it doesn't want to go anywhere now that it's up and then we're going to put this thing right at the back i apologize for the lousy camera work in this video but it's like a tight kind of situation so please don't hate me okay i'm going to put this on now guys okay guys so i was trying to get it in and i noticed that it doesn't fit through here so i gotta unbolt this bottom bolt here um, and then I should be able to move that enough for that to go in. If that works, then great. If not, I'll see you in 10 seconds. Okay, guys, as you can see, everything's installed. The only problem I'm having is with the ground. I just don't understand where it goes. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put, I'm going to cut this ground wire and I'm just going to put one of these on and I'm going to just clean, pull this bolt out, clean it to bare metal. And I'm just going to put it on like that. That'll give this motor a super duper good ground. So I'm gonna do that off camera, guys. And then let's try and see if she works. Okay, guys, I got the ground on. Everything's looking good. Um, as far as this thing goes, so I'm about to start on the other side. So I wanna see like, is it bent here? I don't know, so I can, I'll just fix that off camera, unfortunately. Chances are this didn't happen to you. So that's good. Obviously putting everything back together is pretty straightforward. Okay, let's try it out. Okay, ready guys? Oh, it works. It works beautiful. If the car was running, obviously it would go faster. Okay, so we fixed it. But unfortunately, there's a problem. Okay guys, so look at this. When you go to close it here, see it hits here. So I don't know what somebody did with this car, but when they put the wide body kit and that on, I think they took the windows out and they didn't know how to put them back in because the other one does the same thing. See, it doesn't even go up all the way. Look at the space here. So guys, I mean, chances are you don't have this issue. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically wrap this video up right now. So that is the end of how to repair your motor, you know, how to install it, how to take it out if the window's down, that kind of stuff. So the next video, this is going to be a three-part on the windows. The next episode is going to be how to adjust this window. So I'll have an episode on just that. There is a way to tilt it and stuff. It's got nothing to do with what we did over here. There's like adjusters and things like that. So that'll be the, the second video of this uh, window thing. And then the third video, I showed you guys at the beginning of this video, that window one, it's crooked like this one. And two, it goes clunk, 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 and it just doesn't do anything. So that will be probably more of a mechanical episode on that. Okay, guys, as always, thank you guys for subscribing. And you know what? I'm just gonna do two videos, actually. I am going to do the other side, which has like uh, gear problems, right? Uh, 
and in that video i will show you how to adjust one of these windows because this thing is completely out of whack i'll show you one more time like something's definitely not right here see it moves and when you go to lift it up guys it does it does some weird stuff see it's like i don't know so i'll figure all this out in the next episode guys thanks for watching problem solver garage and as always guys in the description below there will be a link to watch the whole entire corvette series on how to repair this thing right from day one you can get some popcorn sit down and watch every single episode in a row guys just like that thanks for watching click the link below for parts to support the channel guys at no cost to you.